Okay, right. This one, parallels again, what we're going to look at is parallels. But now, something we're going to notice when you get to play quite a lot is that, firstly, the kit is actually split in two. And you will realise um, when you first start playing, you tend to hit the symbols with your right hands a lot. And that becomes a kind of redundant when you go. You're still open grip if you're playing something like that, which gives you a real advantage to play something again, where it's supposed to go. Coming across. As soon as you come across, it crosses your sticks up. Great if you go back into hi hat. Not good if you want to stay free on the kit. This links into the paradiddles again. If you want to play paradiddles and stay open, and staying open means you need to move your arms quite a lot. Um, you do, you can become quite cramped up when you play the drums, and you get very, very tight. And that's not good for your drumming. If you're playing everything like this, and you're using your hands, using your hands is great and really important actually because it can give you some real subtlety. But if you've got to get around the kit quickly, which you do if you're coming around here and you've got to get back or you know, any of these changes around, or if you're playing a groove and you just want to get across the, the bell on the right simple and bring back just a couple of notes. Really good way of getting your hands moving and your shoulders moving is to play paradiddles. Now, one way of doing it is to play the single notes of the paradiddles on the top and the doubles on the floor. So it's right there. said it gets that movement of the shoulders and the advantage of that is independent movement as well in drumming you do tend to go around in blocks if you see that you'll see that you hit the cymbals in blocks it's all in blocks here around the kit in blocks if you get that quite a bit of play a lot of hand movement and what it also means you've got to lift up before you hit down as well so that's really going to speed your fingers up great something to work out on there and you should really have a quick think about that and you can also, you know, you can move on to anything. If you want to go up to the symbol, I won't do that, it's quite loud. But if you want to go up to the symbol, get that extra range of movement, also good. And if you want to improve your accuracy, what you can do is play on the rims. It makes it a lot more difficult to do, uh, and it damages sticks as well, so use a cheap pair of sticks. But a lot more accuracy required, and it's, you, know, you can get the same give off the drums, so there's something else to try there.